So a lot of you asked, how do I expand my fan base beyond just the people that I know? So I know exactly how you're feeling. That's how I started out. You know, you release some music and you, uh, obviously you tell your friends about it, you're proud of it, but at some point you just want to, um, you want to get it out there farther than that. You want more people than just your friends to hear it. And, uh, you know, honestly, that's the question that this entire website that I've started is that I want to help you answer. So that's a big question with a big answer. And uh, but but I do want to try to give you a few pointers uh, in this video. The first one being that I think part of getting people who don't know you uh, to hear your music is uh, the first piece of it anyway is finding a niche. So I guarantee you that whatever type of music you do, there is a niche of music creators out there that have gotten together. And uh, you need to go find that. You need to go be a part of that. So for me, I initially sort of found that on Twitter. I found out that there's this community of musicians who make ambient music. And uh, and so I, you know, interacted with them and saw what they did and um, got hooked up with them. So you need to find out where that is. That might be on YouTube. That might be on SoundCloud. That might be, I don't know where, it might be on Facebook. But um, start interacting with people who are doing something similar to what you're doing. Um, the second thing is, uh, is basically just consistency. You've got to um, be somewhere. You've got to be on Twitter. You've got to be on YouTube. You've got to be on SoundCloud. You've got to be somewhere where you're consistently posting, and because of that, you're more easily discoverable. What I mean by that is you are posting things that have a higher chance of being discovered by people, because that's what you want, right? Um, I've done that myself mainly through YouTube. So I do lots of demos of gear that I use. I do, I have a couple of different series on ambient songs that I do live in one take sort of thing. And that is far and away the largest place where people discover my music. They stumble across a video, they say, oh, what is this guy doing? What else does he do? Here's his music. And then they end up on my Bandcamp page and hopefully maybe a certain percentage of them will download some music. So. Those are the two big things I think, um, you know, focus on long term. Obviously, neither of those things happens overnight. Finding a niche and, and getting involved with a community of people who are doing what you're doing. Um, or, uh, you know, doing that thing that's going to be more discoverable. So, posting stuff to SoundCloud, posting stuff to YouTube, things like that. Um, focus on those two things. That's kind of the start. That's the general idea. Make yourself discoverable and interact with other people who are doing this. Um, if you keep at that for a good amount of time, you should see an increase in people being interested in your music.